We're talking about uh, issues that arise when you want to sell your business or your company. What issues may I face with business company sales? <laughs> okay, so from an employment perspective, you need to think about um, are your employees, uh, what you're doing with them, are they moving across, are they not moving across, uh, you need to think about are your employee records in order, you also need to think about all the uh, uh, entitlements that your employees uh, are accumulating, including long service leave, portable long service leave, all these other issues. So, Because at some point, the, the purchaser is going to want to find out what the value of that is. So if you don't have your employee records in order, you're not going to be able to provide them any reasonable answer without doing a whole pile of work that's going to take a very long time. I need to sell my business in six months. What do I need to keep in mind when it comes to my employees? First of all, you need to keep in mind which employees you might have around in six months' time, what their liabilities are, i.e. how much long service leave, annual leave, sick leave they've got available to them, whether you're going to keep them, whether you might not be keeping them, whether the business is, you're just selling the business to, to disintegrate it or, or to sell it off to, in, in parts, or whether you're selling the business as a whole. Uh, you need to get those employee records in order like I said before and you also need to probably start talking to those employees because if you want employees to be leaving now is the time to start encouraging that if you want them to be staying they're going to be all nervous about what happens next so you're going to have to give them some uh, reassurances that you're going to be around for X amount of time and you're going to start talking to sellers sorry purchasers who also want to take the business as a whole so you're going to want to protect those employees so it's probably a good idea to start thinking about that change management issue too. I recently bought a business, but I do not want to carry over the employees. Do I need to, or can I let all of them go? Hmm. Well, the question is, I recently bought a business, so it's already happened. Your employees are your employees. You'll need to figure out, first of all, whether you've taken them over and given them continuity of employment, or the previous employer made everyone redundant and you've offered everybody brand new positions. So you're the previous, sorry, the previous owner has taken on all the legal liability of those employees and you've started off fresh. If it's the if it's the former and uh, You've, you've taken all these employees and given them continuity of employment, then it might be really hard to get rid of that employee. They may have been there for the requisite time to file an unfair dismissal. Uh, it could be that you're taking on an awful lot of money if you're trying to make them redundant. And if you don't have a valid reason to terminate them, you might have to enter into some sort of negotiation to exit them out, which could be expensive. So you need to stop and think about that before the purchase occurs. Uh, if it's too late, then we can fix that. Um, it just might take a little bit more time. Um, if it's the latter and your the previous owner has basically paid out all the employees and you've gone to the employees that are now with you, hey look, come on board, it's a new contract, it's a brand new business, we're going to start fresh, then it's more likely than not, depending on when you've done it, uh, you might be able to um, just terminate them under the employment contract, um, under the probationary period. Uh, just be careful though, because when it comes to uh, continuity of employment, there is a lot of law around that. So I want to caution you before you decide you're just going to call it and terminate everyone because they've only been there for a month. Uh, because yeah, there's a lot of law around continuity of employment and what um, what that looks like in reality. I want to buy a business but I want to negotiate the terms further. How can I negotiate before I'm being unreasonable? Hmm. Yeah, look, it's a really hard one, isn't it? Because you want to get the best deal you can possibly get out of the seller, but the seller wants to get the best deal they can possibly get out of you. And actually, it's apples and oranges. They want to sell the business for the highest figure, you want to buy the business at the lowest figure. Neither the twain should normally meet in that situation. Hopefully you and the, and the seller can come to some sort of agreement and we can help you there enter into those negotiations with regards to the employees that is. We actually don't do um, uh, mergers and acquisitions, uh, but we can help you with that and certainly work with a different solicitor to do it. But in terms of negotiations, um, I think probably the, the best advice we can give you here at MJT Law is put yourself in both your shoes. 
take it from the perspective of the seller as well as from your perspective and see if you can come to some sort of middle ground option that you can both live with. Sometimes these things are not about hip and hooray moments, but can I live with that moment? Thanks for watching.